Hello, this is Archie Luxury and thank you for watching the Archie Luxury channel in 2012. Today I'd like to talk about an interesting concept. All for one and one for all. Okay, how's this for a wacky concept? You know I've got a, a reasonably nice collection, a humble collection of luxury watches. Now what I'm thinking is, okay, now listen, hear me out. What would happen if I sold all my men's pieces and put that money into one complicated watch? So let's, so let's have a think of that. So I'd sell my, my Patek Calatrava. I'd sell my uh, Jaeger LeCoultre. I'd sell my uh, Explorer 2. I'd sell my uh, Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I'd sell my um, the Royal Oak, the AP Ultra Slim dress watch, and uh, I'd also um, flick my Cartier. So say, so say I, I I sold those pieces there, those seven key pieces, and put the money into one outstanding fuck off piece. Now. You might say, well, what would I buy exactly? Well, I, I, I'm constant, contemplating a fucking expensive piece. Now, I, uh, a little while back, I was in a, a watch shop, a second-hand, a vintage watch dealer's place, and uh, he had a, a Jaeger LeCoultre Reverso Minute Repeater, which actually, you slide it, and it tells you the um, the time via the uh, you got the face but it's also it sings to you it chimes out the the hours and minutes and it's just just an absolutely amazing piece and and I could have had that for about twenty five to thirty thousand dollars that was a Jaeger Culture rose gold minute repeater but you know, also another watch which really, really appeals to me. I really love the white gold Patek Philippe. Cali uh, sorry, the white gold Patek World Time, and that's with the um, it's got the bluey grey dial. I thought that's a, a stunning piece. So that's something else I could possibly get there, and uh, I, I might even have enough money to get one super fantastic piece but also then have one watch just to, to wear as a um, you know just for doing everyday things uh, I think probably the um, the Patek World Time would probably be a great great piece to have Pro probably the the complications more complicated pieces would be a bit more expensive in the Patek range uh, the other thing is, I, I, I was thinking of a, um, I'm not a big Royal Oak fan, but I could get the solid gold uh, Royal Oak Classic Chronograph. Now that's another super fuck off piece. So I'm kind of contemplating all for one and one for all. I don't know. I mean, could I sell seven watches to buy one super piece? I don't know this is a bit it's a bit on the spooky side you know you kind of you think about these things and you think fuck should I do it or not do it you know it's kind of because I mean the problem is when, when you got as many watches as me you can't leave them at home in the safe you've got to have them in a bank safe so that costs money and I can't really enjoy them all the time I've got to um, I can, you know, just for security in that there in this day and age, especially if you've got a profile like Archie Luxury, you don't want to be um, leaving that at home. You've got to take special security steps. And um, I don't know, I'm just thinking to myself, maybe I just get one fuck, super fuck off watch. And in the ladies' collection, my, well, I should say my wife's collection, she's got the Protect 24, she's got two 18 karat gold Cartiers, that's the, the Banois and the Diablo, and she's also got a steel 
uh, date just with white gold bezel. Now she loves her Patek, so that's that's certainly a holy grail for her. But if I sold the two gold Cartiers and also the Rolex uh, Datejust, steel Rolex Datejust with white gold bezel, I could probably get an 18 carat Rolex Ladies President, a Datejust Ladies President. Maybe not with diamond dial, but certainly a um, certainly a, uh, a a president. So so that's a couple options, a bit of food food for thought there. I don't know. I mean, I mean this is the problem. I uh, how many watches is enough? Do you, is it better? Could I sell? Could you sell seven to get one? I mean, I've already got a beautiful white gold. Patek Calatrava but um, would a world time be better or would a, a Jager La Coltra rose gold minute repeater be better these are hard questions to answer I mean only it's something something to think about I mean that, that'd be certainly a cool watch I don't know I'm just I'm just I'm just toying with the idea a bit and um I'll have a bit of a think about it and, and see 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 what I decide. But look, if you've got an opinion on it, let me know. And uh, let me I'm just, I'm just I'm just toying with some ideas at the moment. So um, let me know what you think. I'm Archie Luxury, and thank you for watching this clip. Bye bye. <laughs>